so we left off here in the previous video and i'm going to be continuing from where i left off so this is artboard and i hope you guys have created a rive uh, account and also opened up your new file so i'll just go here quickly name a file i'll call this as circular button maybe something like that we i'll tell you why it is required at the end of this thing maybe and uh, the first thing that we're going to do is as an artboard we're going to be doing something circular because that's uh, as the name suggests that's what we're going to do i'm going to be talk touching two quick topics here one is going to be your basic shapes and next is going to be about trim paths and how you can control your trim path in your uh, your your up i mean your animation with drive so the previous one was called as flare and it was owned by a company called two dimensions which later was renamed as rive and the entire company is now uh, named as rive and uh, you have this product called flare inside that we'll go quickly uh, draw a simple circle and uh, that's what you're going to be doing because you're going to be using a circular button just draw, draw a simple circle and always make sure that it's circular not an ellipse ellipse so i'll just go make it 150 150 so that we have something to go play with it the next thing we're going to do is to actually go ahead and fill something here we're going to be filling up our uh, circle so i'm going to be going with a very light color i'll go with the white itself probably mostly used remove the stroke and we are done so our basic setup is done it's still not white it's some lighter color which i don't want to give make it 255 255 255 all right so this has become white complete white and you can see that as soon as you draw it it's also creating something called an ellipse path which is going to be where we can you you can usually uh, change the shape and animate that part this is the first part next thing you're going to do is go to some this website called as feather icons and you're going to be downloading a very simple svg file so what are svgs svgs are nothing but these are vector graphics which will be useful for us to animate easily you so you, you can see that a lot of your animations uh, that you involves button or a button click usually go with uh, some icon that gets animated uh, the previous one that i did was the google p animation where i taught you guys how to do that if you want to go for an in-depth in uh, tutorial you can check that out so with this uh, simple the most simple uh, svg is going to be the right click right arrow right circle so i'm going to be downloading that i'm going to keep it as to whatever size is already there 24 22 pixels and we can just directly go ahead and uh, import it into our assets folder so just open it up and throw it inside our assets folder and we are officially uh, i mean putting everything in our assets folder next thing you're going to do is just go here and make sure that you are giving it a proper size so as if you go in and uh, zoom it in you can see that your file which is going to be having multiple shapes here it's going to be having ellipse which is a circle followed by a shape and there's a path here so this is going to be the two different things that uh, is going to be handled by the uh, ellipse that the arrow circle that you downloaded the first thing that we need to do is always make sure that we have a proper size so the size is 2020 which is so small for our uh, a button which is here usually what i would suggest is to go ahead and make sure that our arrow circle which is this coordinate which is pointed with the box here is also the center of the entire circle but now i'm not going to do that because there's going to be multiple which multiple uh, SVGs involved, meaning circle is one SVG and your arrow mark is another another path. So multiple paths involved, which I don't want to play around with it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be moving this to the center of the circle. How you can do that? I'm sorry, click that. Make sure you're taking it up, and you're. I don't know what I'm doing. this is a big problem okay move it to the center of the circle but as you can see it's still not the center so that that problem arises because our center of our arrow right circle is not actually the center it's pointing to some value some space outside the svg it's not a big thing you can just center it yourself manually nothing is going to happen just make sure that you have a proper size which you want to give it to and you can just center it easily so i'm going to give it an entire size the entire arrow size i'm going to give it a scale of five to see how it goes uh this is fine if you ask me it's too big but it's fine uh, let me again move it to the center should be around this spot cool so we have our center we also have our button which is being 
uh, use which you're going to use couple of things to quickly change is to go ahead and change the first uh, paths thickness very very important again so make sure that you're giving a thickness of four maybe to make it look a little bit thicker at least or else it will look so thin and you can't animate and you, your animations won't be seen outside properly so make sure to give it another thickness maybe five and that's it pretty much it and go to the next shape which is the arrow shape and also let's do it another size sorry this one go to the shape of this one and change the size let's do a five again here so pretty much thicker ones and i'm actually happy it, how it looks and next thing i'm going to do is go and start animating one quick note here i haven't animated this specific one so it's going to be like a little bit of a learning curve for me as well so i'm just going to play around with some values so that i can see how it turns out i'm doing it live for you guys so i don't know how it's going to behave so the idea that i'm having right now as soon as i see this is to make sure that the circle uh, kind of fades out at some point and the arrow moves to the right so that our button can do another transition so that's going to be the basic animation I'm, I'm planning on doing so what we need to do is go click the arrow and first mark our positions the x positions that you're going to mark and as you can see the inside the translations are marked so no problems with that the next thing we need is a shape or the circle to uh, actually go out like this so it's going to start at some point and go out like this so what we need to do is play with some trim paths which we can do by clicking the shape and going here and you can see the trim path is set to off i would recommend setting it to sequential for now and the start is zero the ending ending is zero let's let let's keep it like this now go to our animate and also do the same for our uh, arrow as well make sure that trim paths are set to synced or sequential however you want to make it doesn't matter unless we're doing something very complex let's keep it like this and we're going to be playing with our first one the shape is going to be here let me uh, fix my trim path here i'm going to be starting with 100 so let me fix those those numbers and ending with 100 similarly for our arrow mark as well starting with zero and ending with 100 so fix that point now what i'm going to do is as i go forward at around 30 second mark i'm assuming my entire animation is going to last for a second so 30 around the 30 millisecond mark i don't know how, how you want to call it uh, you are going to be changing the trim parts so technically i want to make the trim path of my circle a 50 percent so what if i do 50 percent here what does it say as you can see the circle just became half it did become half now what we're going to do is from here it's going to become like this awesome right now similarly we also want the arrow to do something here i want the arrow to move to the right as soon as it keeps opening and towards the end just zoom out so that's what that's the animation i'm planning out so i'm going to do this here and at the same point go here and first things first we need to set our x position so the arrow is probably if you double click here it'll open up sorry this is Okay, so this is going to be the arrow. So this is going to be the arrow and I'm going to be setting up my X position. X position is going to be 0, 0. Let's keep it like this. Let's set the position. And as I move to the right, this thing opens up. And around this point, when my... Yep, around this point, I want my X to be 5. It's pretty much moving forward. Now as you go back, now I can do the animation very much clearly. It's happening it's working now i want at this point the entire thing to quickly zoom out and also complete it so i want to complete the animation here so i'm just going to make sure at around 55 mark around 55 second mark 55 of the second uh, 55th frame is going to be having a complete zoom out of the entire trim path so at this location i'm going to complete the trim path and make it also oh, this one sorry this one is already gone through 50% and around 55th frame make it 0, 100 so pretty much it it's going to zoom out as you can see if I play it it's doing a very much it's it's kind of doing a linear kind of transition out so what I'm going to do is at this point make it a cubic transition so the cubic transitions would do that kind of a zoop stuff so how am I going to do that so let's do uh, zoop hold and this to be linear uh, whereas the other one would have this one let's see it in action uh, this is not what i want it's holding so long this is not this is not what i want okay it's working the other way around okay i want this to be not a hold a linear okay now let's see nope not still what i want 
I would say um, probably this to be a hold. Let's play around with that. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it's kind of getting stuck. Nope, not a, still not what I want. So I'm going to maybe move this location to a cubic and I'll see. Okay, pretty much works in my favor, I guess. Okay, I have now, as you can see, it gets stuck. My arrow mark is getting stuck at some point, which I'm not interested in doing. So I'm going to be moving my arrow mark from this position and I'm going to transition or I mean, I'm going to change the opacity to zero and close it out and I'm closing both both these things out. So this exact location and I'm going to be changing the uh, point for this one at 55. I'm going to be changing the uh, X to be eight or even maybe nine it's closer to the one and change the opacity to zero so pretty much it it's going to fade out okay the first mistake is if you're going to change the opacity to zero here everything will become zero so you need to set the initial opacity which is going to be one so one to zero right that's it so pretty much our application or the our, our, our animation is done well, let's call it as a circular button animation circular right animation something like that so that's what we're gonna do cool uh, my animation looks fine i am actually satisfied with this animation if you want to spend so much of your time you can change the color play with it have multiple versions of it as as whatever you want to let's name the animations uh, let me call it a circular Okay, I'm, I don't know why I'm typing it like this. Okay, circular button. Cool, my animation is also named. It is very important. I'll tell you why. And we just can now go ahead and do an export. Export, make sure you're exporting it. Make sure that you have a format as binary and not JSON and export it. Now, as you can see, it's named as circular button or FLR. That's what we want and pretty much it our entire application is done you can just save it up if you want to and you can also play it and we can just go ahead and see our, for ourselves how this pans out in our uh, the drive page so go to explore open my files and i can now see it's opening it as a file i don't want it to open as a file Okay, now I can see for myself how things pan out. This is going to be circular button. Uh, pretty much it works fine for me, right? Just a second. Well, that's one. I also created one more very simple one just for testing purpose. So, uh, yeah, that's one. That's another one. So, it's like a logout kind of a button. Circular one logs out and pretty much it. So, a couple of buttons I've created here. I'm going to create two more. One is a rectangle, one is a circle. I'm thinking of doing one more and we are pretty much done with this video. The next video, we're going to be now plugging our Flutter's FLR files into the plugin and I'll show you guys how to use it uh, with respect to the application itself. How do, you, how do you use the plugin? How do you start creating classes in your plugin and how you can create it in a much better fashion? So, that's going to be the next video. We're going to be starting on starting to code from the next video uh, make sure that you have something similar to this animation if you have a much good looking animation i do have a lot of different things that i tried out this is one i showed probably in my video itself so this is this is these are complex animations if you want to do it very well if you have time you can definitely do it and pretty much it that's it for this video next video make sure you have your project settings up and running from the previous video let me meet you there i have a lot of information to give you to you guys hopefully all of you catch it up and let's meet in the next video peace out